During First News at 5, we showed you how new COVID cases are rising in Ohio. New at 6, First News anchor Stan Boney is back with the numbers from around Youngstown. While the trends in COVID numbers across our area are following the same trends as the numbers that we saw earlier in Ohio, that being cases and hospitalizations are up while the number of people dying going down. Let's start with the Mahoning County. Now these are new COVID cases for the week ending on the dates that you see. Throughout October and into November, you can see there the cases were falling. This past week though, there were over a thousand new cases, which is more than double the new cases from three weeks ago. Trumbull County's cases actually started trending up during the first part of November. This past week, you can see there were over 900 new cases in Trumbull County. That's an increase of 68% in three weeks. Mid-October, Columbiana County had just over 500 new cases. You can see it right there in the middle there. Then for two weeks, they actually fell. This past week, though, there was back up to 564. That is a 40% increase from the first part of the month. Mercer County had its number of new cases down below 300 on the week ending on November the 1st. This past week, 526 new cases. That's an increase of 81%. For the number of people dying of COVID, I added all four counties together. From mid-October into the 1st of November, it ranged anywhere from 48 to 57. This past week, actually ending on Friday, it dropped down to 39. Throughout the pandemic, the number of people dying has lagged behind any spikes in new cases. We'll see here if that holds true. Finally, the difference in hospitalizations from COVID over the past seven days. The numbers are all over the place, ranging from an increase of 70% in Trumbull County to a decrease of 4% in Columbiana County. But Mahoning County, Mercer County is also showing big increases of 33 and 44%. Live in the studio, Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News.